Cora packs up her change and her sign asking for money. Police have asked her to leave this downtown street corner or go to jail. If they ask me to move, I will move. Extra officers are working to enforce the no panhandling ordinance. Yet we ran into several of them right down here on these busy streets. I have to pay my bills too. I'm not homeless out here. I'm just trying to keep my home. The city put up donation boxes to discourage people from giving money directly to panhandlers. The donated money will go to agencies that help the homeless. But I'm sitting here and their box is there. They'll come and give to me instead of putting in that box. Because I'm sitting here and I'm living proof. Chris Ostenberg has compassion for those struggling in the streets, but she says she feels awkward when approached for money. I think the boxes are a really good idea just because, you know, there's so many people you don't know exactly who to give to. Sometimes it's uncomfortable. Karen lives on the streets and doesn't believe she will benefit from the box donations. We already know we'll never see whatever they donate ain't coming up. You don't think so? A passerby overhears Karen's story and steps in to encourage her. And you know what? You don't have to be like this, eh? There's so much opportunity here in India. Karen says she cannot find work because she cannot read. She sleeps under a bridge. You gotta worry about somebody gonna rob you or rape you. My name is John Doe. It's nice to meet you. This man says shaking this cup keeps him alive. Feeds me, clothes me, and sometimes if I get lucky, there's shelter.